Hi, I'm Mike from Thurvox and this is the new ET4.1. Um, it's a continuous pitch analog instrument and um, the pitch is controlled by moving your finger with this ring. And the volume of each oscillator is controlled by these two pressure sensitive intensity keys. Each oscillator has six settings for the octave position. And six different positions for waveform settings. The first one is sine wave, triangle wave, rectified sine wave, and three different pulse width setting square waves. 50% pulse, 30% pulse, and 10% pulse. The second oscillator also has a setting for white noise. The ring offset knob acts as a master tuning control, so you can tune the instrument. The OS2 offset knob acts as an offset for the second oscillator, so you can detune it and create different intervals. A separate output for a, for a portable tuner is available, and this allows you to alter the tuning without um, having to actually make a noise from either of the two oscillators. So let's say, for example, I want to tune the two oscillators to a fifth of each other. Um, the first thing I do with my finger in the ring would be to point to an A, and now I can use the ring offset to tune that to an A. And once I know that's in tune, I can switch the tuner output to oscillator 2, and now I can offset that to an E. And once that is in tune, now each oscillator should be tuned within a fifth of each other. The ring to oscillator 2 switch, when turned off, it disables the oscillator 2 from tracking with the ring which means that it can be set to a consistent note or a drone note. And um, so I will turn this off and um, I'll use the tuner output to verify the tuning. In this case, I'm gonna tune it to an A. Oscillator 2 can also be synchronized to oscillator 1, which means that oscillator 2's waveform will reset at the same time oscillator 1's. And this means that um, you can add very interesting harmonics and um, get some very cool noises. The controls on the right of the ET4 are for the low pass filters cutoff frequency. The mix of the reverb level and the final output volume. Um, the Dry Plus Reverb mix knob allows you to control how much reverb is in the output signal. Um, you could set it to no reverb at all. Uh, some reverb. That's a lot of reverb. And you can turn it up all the way, which means it's 100% reverb. So the signal that you're hearing is only from the internal spring reverb tank, um, which is pretty wild and it's pretty unique. Uh, and it can be very cool. On the left side panel of the instrument are an input for an expression pedal and this allows it to control the filter cutoff frequency and there's three more jacks and those are control voltage outputs so you can control external synthesizer gear with those. Um, the ring output outputs a one volt per octave signal and the, the two outputs for the intensity keys output a voltage between 0 and 10 volts depending on their position. Um, some of the cool things that you can do is um, you can take a patch cord and if you take it from the tuner output 
and you plug it into the expression pedal input, um, now you're using what's coming out of the tuner output to modulate the filter. And if you set the tuner output to oscillator 2, and you set oscillator 2 to its lowest position, and disable it from the ring, um, you can actually turn it into an LFO, so you can slowly modulate the cutoff frequency of the filter. So I have an expression pedal here, so if I plug it into the expression pedal jack, um, I'll now be able to control the frequency of the filter cutoff with my foot while playing. So um, this is a control that usually you can't play at the same time, but now you can play with your foot. So it just adds an extra level of um, expressiveness to the instrument. And you can do other things with these jacks as well on the side. If you have a small patch cord, you could use this to plug, uh, say, between the expression pedal input and the ring. And this means that the control voltage coming out of the ring is also controlling the filter cutoff frequency. So the filter will open up as you move the ring higher and go to the higher notes. Uh, if you plug in the patch cord between the expression pedal and one of the intensity keys, then the position of the intensity key also acts to open up the filter as you're playing, which is a pretty cool effect as well. So that's the basic rundown for the Thurivox ET4.1. Um, if you want to see more pictures and videos, check out Thurivox.com. And um, you can also check out videos for the ET4.2 and 4.3. Those have uh, some additional features. Thanks.